All right, here we go. This is a rank 3v3 on Thar between the green team in the upper left-hand corner, only Phil, in the Shark Neo. Makot, I, I, I'm not 100% on how to pronounce that. I'm going to go with Makot right now. That's much easier to say. In the front line, Warthog and MC Combat in the Easter Osprey. And their opponents, the Carbon Team, the Orange Team, the bottom right-hand corner. Wolf Cub in the standard Osprey. Ah, oh, God, that's the standard Warthog, actually. Skinelli in the Shark Neo and Broadside in the Easter Osprey. A Hog Neo Osprey combination on each team. We are on Broken bro Bug Thar right now with this big clump of units. There are three Seekers and two Goliaths that Orange Team will have to deal with. And because of that... In the meantime, the the green team will be able to uh, push up on mid much, much more efficiently. There is pretty much, I mean, these are going to go up there, but uh, the, the orange team is going to have to deal with these these Seekers and these Goliath before they can really get there any further. And Wolf Cub doing, trying to get a quick kill, I guess, uh, in advance, uh, up ahead, and uh, going out with Makot, and Makot gets that kill uh, on Wolf Cub before Wolf Cub is able to finish off Makot, but Makot getting killed on the ground by Skinny Hill, and now these, uh, these, lo these Delos and Longhorn have not been stopped. They are proceeding past the mid, and Skinny Hill and, uh, and Broadside are trying to fire, fire down there on only Phil. No one gets actually killed. But these, this long procession of Longhorn and Dillos are still going for the Orange Fort. Uh, this is going to have to be dealt with by the Orange team. And in the meantime, um, Makot and only Phil are going to be here at this mid trying to take it. And MC Combat bringing nothing. Okay, I thought he was going to bring something. Okay, a couple of creeps. Um, and they have been able to take this middle outpost. Uh, have a fair surround, not an amazing surround. And Wolf Cup with Dillo not going to be able to kill too much, especially on um, MC Combat here healing up, broadside firing in, but nobody's going to be able to take this away. Orange team is definitely going to be able to take this away from green team. And uh, and now it is it appears that green team, or that orange team, is going to go for, you know, the other outposts. They do have this one, obviously. They have to get this close right now. Green team is actually even ahead of them, sending Dillos to this close, uh, actually able to grab this first. Uh, woke up going for the upper right hand uh, factory, uh, that upper corner. And I'm not really sure what he put there. I guess he was trying to. I guess he was trying to check for any hidden artillery or something like that. Um, and in the meantime, Skinny will taking this close. Uh, and at the same time, only Phil and MC Combat going for this bottom, for this bottom left end island. And they actually have been able to grab it. Probably will be able to defend it fairly well. A lot of deal is going down. So now we do have a kind of balanced map control, except that Green Team does have mid. Everyone has their closest outposts. Uh, the orange team has been able to get this top right corner, and uh, the uh, the green team has been able to get, grab that bottom left hand island. But now the mid, still really well surrounded by that green team, and Makot trying to fire in and kill something. I'm not really sure if he actually got that kill on that. Oh no, that was probably the neutral T99, and only feel. Oh my God, getting uh, hammered by all these mechs, but uh, it got finished off by Broadside in that chase. Oh, uh, and right now a lot of fire going down. MC Combat almost finished it off and does land before he gets killed, but does get finished off on the ground by Wolf Cup. And so now Broadside is going to be able to get a good defend on this. which is just a single creep. Uh, and in the meantime, Makot doing a little bit of money, money maker harass. Actually able to kill one. Uh, one. The other one was saved. And now he is having to retreat back to his power station. Does get back to that mid before he gets finished off. Um, and now only Phil. Oh, only Phil with a jackal drop. Broadside's desperately trying to block, block this. He might, only Phil might be able to actually get this. Uh, firing at himself. There are two bulbs up. Uh, well, Skinny is here to defend as well, but only Phil repositioning his jackals actually neutralizes this outpost. Is there any infantry? The Makot does not have anything in his in his cargo. Where is MC Combat? MC Combat doing his own thing down there at the bottom island, bringing a single artillery for some reason. And now only Phil getting killed on the ground. Makot did not, uh, the green team has not been able to grab this. Makot does retreat back to that mid. So uh, great neutralization by only Phil, but not enough support from his team. Didn't have any artillery, or didn't have any infantry. And uh, right now, Wolf Cup bringing some zippers over here to this this top this top outpost, uh, and not sending anything to patrol. And all those dills are just going to kill them extremely, extremely quickly. Especially without the you know more light units and more damage soaking units to be able to draw their fire. And, uh, and now only Phil and Makot doing a 2v1 right here. Now Broadside is here to support healing up all these units and does try to chase down Makot. Is going to be able to land, not able to finish him off. Wolf Cub does not have air to ground right now. And so uh, does finish off Makot on the ground. Um, I'm not really sure what actually got that kill. That was kind of interesting. Uh, and now Broadside, uh, okay, only Phil very, very low on health. Uh, does not finish off M Wolf Cub there and does get that kill on only Phil. And in the meantime, Skinny Hill has been dropping zippers here at this left outpost. Um, and uh, they have, oh, he has not been able to neutralize anything, but Wolf Cup is here to support him as well. Uh, firing in with that Warthog. Oh man, I guess he's a little bit misfiring, not connecting with that Jackal. And uh, not gonna be able to be finished off in the meantime. 
Uh, and only Phil Emicott going a little bit out of uh, away from their outpost. Skinny getting caught here. Oh, does not get finished off on the ground, but after lifting off, does get followed and killed by only Phil. But now Wolf Cup might be able to get this neutralized. A couple of zippers firing in with him. Actually, will get this neutralized. Is there going to be any infantry coming up? I know no one bringing up infantry. McCott finishing off Wolf Cup, Wolf Cup in the air, and only Phil firing at the fort right now for some reason. I'm not really sure how productive this is going to be. Maybe he tried to go for a socket unit and uh, failed, so he is just trying to get in whatever damage he possibly can but with that shield from that lunchbox it's gonna be a little while before he can actually do any valuable damage he has taken down a tiny tiny fraction of their health but uh does get back to that mid before wolf is able to finish him off really really good job in that retreat and now skinny uh oh they have been able to neutralize that very very briefly a couple of probes going down but wolf Cub and skinny have not been able to complete that neutralization and uh grab that outpost actually only feel trying to do some harass at this close but not going to be able to do much especially with the mech presence if you can't catch catch mechs out of out of position uh, something can happen definitely but when mix mechs are in position there to defend it is very very difficult to get things to happen if you are on equal ground uh, skill wise or not necessarily equal but you know pretty close and now skinny with a clo cloaked dillo drop uh, gonna be able to hit the front door I think yes is it is at the front door but Makat here very very quick to respond hitting this dillo from the back getting killed very very quickly but in the meantime there is a couple of zippers going down here and a couple of infantry runners going down here but that is very very well defended those scene lines are gonna smash those runners and kill them very very quickly um and see combat dropping a little bit more a couple of dillos going down but once again t99 defense not going to do too much um and at, at the meantime there has been a couple of dillos pushing out over here there is a lot of action going down on this map uh this has been neutralized well mc combat with a lot more uh a lot more units uh so they have been able to neutralize that bottom broadside finally coming to respond in the meantime wolf cub still attacking over here not complete not actually getting anywhere did get it neutralized but i don't think there's going to be any infantry coming down to actually take it um only feel dropping a uh a cap i guess a, a long or something like that or a dillo uh, but green team has been able to clear the majority of the units on the bottom uh, skinny will try to drop with that stasis but it's not gonna be that effective uh, three bulbs up for orange but they really really need to completely take this and drop 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 uh, light units heavy units whatever just something that that is gonna be able to contest these five dillos here on the back of this outpost MC combat uh, is gonna be able to get that kill and so uh, no where is the rest of this green team um, only field defending at that top Macaw coming with some infantry of his own uh, this is not gonna be enough to take this outpost I think uh, three bulbs uh, four infantry go up but only one bulb stays up for a brief moment in time a couple of probes going down, but probes going down by both players, so by both teams. This does go to Orange, Broadside healing up that tank, and uh, now this, oh my god, still very, very much under contest. Broadside trying to chase down, um, I don't know who that was, uh, but MC Combat getting finished in the air, and uh, now this has been shut down by Orange team with a great response. Great teamwork, all three mechs here to take back this outpost, and now Wolf Cup doing Cook Scout, but so many Seekers has to run away. Oh my god, and now Skinny L there to body block for him, so that was really, really great teamwork. And now Wolf Cub's like, now what? What's happening? Every, uh, pretty much every attack by both teams has pretty much failed. Even the one that uh, that was just now, where Green Team was able to grab that bottom outpost, uh, it, it will, they 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 were able to take it back with enough units and enough, you know, enough mech coordination and cooperation. We're able to actually get it. And Skinny will finishing off a socket unit there. I'm not really sure what that was. I think it might have been a generator. Um, and did Makot actually get anything there? Um, no. Uh, that is, uh, yeah, I guess Wolf Cub was able to save it. Oh, now actually replacing uh, money makers for generators. They do need that power. Um, and now only feel going for the lunchbox instead of the uh, the neutralization, which might be a good decision here because that lunchbox will defeat, will put up that that extra bulb regen. And now uh, actually able to get this neutralized. Uh, only feel briefly briefly uh, cloaking there. Dropping the jackals on the front side. I'm not really sure what the point of that was. Maybe for incoming creeps. That's probably what it was. Incoming creeps is probably a good, a good reason to put jackal there. But now infantry going down by orange team and wolf cup skinny and broadside are all here. Going to be able to finish off the rest of the green units that are that were dropped over there so now attack after attack after attack and uh, you know great responses by both teams to defend against uh, whatever uh, uh, harassment or attack that goes down that went down on and on any of their outposts and broadside getting some sal no going for the heal over the salvage um, I, I in this situation where there's not too much mechs or uh, no you know action in the area at all I kind of might want to go for the salvage and then the heal uh, but skinny heal now going with a bomb to get only fill in those jackals that are attacking and uh, in the meantime broadside going with it trying to go with a hidden longhorn drop uh, almost getting finished off in the air not gonna get that second longhorn dropped uh, and this other uh, horn was d uh, blocked by that Dillo 
And in the meantime, Wolf Cub and Skinny Hill finishing off these stray jackals that I think were dropped by probably only Phil only Phil getting killed by Skinny Hill there a little bit earlier. And now Skinny Hill with his three eight balls following him, doing some quick scouts, does catch McCott in the in the act, try and bring some infantry to the bottom. I'm not really sure if that was a good decision to begin with. There is a, this is very, very well defended. Look at all the dillos and I think heavy ratchets. I'm not sure though. That might just be the color of the of the ratchet when they are uh, oh my god, Skinny Hill almost overextending himself and getting killed. Um, but barely, barely getting back to his output. Uh, not able to actually finish off that generator there. Um, and now Wolf Cup with a single Dillo. I guess he's probably going for Fort Attack. And now only Phil going with the Fort Attack as well, but only with his own mech fire. Uh, Wolf Cub and Skinny Hill are here at this fort, putting down damage. There is overhealed uh, sock unit. It's very, very interesting here. Uh, but, but Wolf Cub and Skinny Hill not getting killed at, at all yet. Uh, Wolf Cub probably going to be finished off here. And Skinny Hill was able to actually get away, replacing uh, those, uh, those, those socket units. Putting down money makers, uh, you do want to get that great, you know, a really good uh, mixture of money makers and generators and or levelers. But there are no levelers down on the field by either team. I don't think. Yeah, I don't see any levelers down. Just money makers and generators. Uh, lunchbox obviously is just a standard thing, especially here on in a three v three. Only Phil doing that weird uh, transform timing thing. Uh, it's not really Viking dancing in my opinion. It, it's kind of different. It's just trying to avoid mechs and uh, and attack as much as you possibly can. <clears throat> now Mechot with that longhorn getting finished off but a lot of damage going down on this on this orange fort no one fin able to actually kill him off yet he probably yes did get finished off there when you're that low on life you might as well spend whatever time you have left putting down whatever damage you can oh and more ta more units attacking this close outpost by only fill out only fill actually able to grab this but mc combat not with any infantry really willing to come with infantry uh it, it, infantry are cheap to make and um you know really really good effective in, uh, out, in the neutralizing outposts to begin with so even if you're even if you think that your opponent or your, your teammate might get an uh, outpost, outpost neutralized it's a good idea to bring infantry just in case skinny Hill killing only fill a big exchange there and McCaw killing skinny Hill on the ground uh, but two Goliaths here broadside force the body block wolf cub here actually able to hit the hit them on the uh, at, at the back McCaw repositioning but uh, I don't think it's gonna be super efficient D the Goliath did get one more attack in and McCaw might have been better off just actually shooting at that force straight up skinny Hill retaking this outpost only feel doing a really good job continually attacking those those outposts dropping jackals over and over neutralizing them over and over keeping the pressure on the orange team oh, but getting killed on the ground by wolf cut there uh but and, and yeah so they they the, all the pressure right now in this entire match has pretty much been against the orange team no uh there i mean there's been a couple attacks on the like it's like skinny Hill dropping zippers here wolf cut dropping dillos here but the majority of the pressure has been on the the orange team a lot of attack going here and a lot of attack going on that upper corner um, and uh, and actually you know they were able to briefly neutralize this outpost and uh, and take it before orange team is able to take it back look at this massive goliaths wow it's just really you got to stop and you know stop and look at outpost defense sometimes just because sometimes they are just so massive and skinny Hill going with a bombing he's trying to oh they're all overhealed so uh he has no choice but to go for that lunch box i uh, don't uh, very very hard to land at that top ledge now they really did fix that 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 ledge abuse thing that a lot of people were taking advantage of before and woke up See, and at this point, each of these orange mechs are just trying to do what they can. Poke, poke, poke. Uh, you know, kill, kill something here and there. But uh, they can't go with any large attacks or any uh, effective drops right now. Just because everything's just so well defended. And Skinny Hill calling out for generators. Uh, and Wolf Cub uh, and, Wolf Cub and Broadside body blocking for each other. Makat getting... Oh, finished off on the ground right there. Only filled with a Seeker. I'm not really sure what that's about. I guess trying to deter the mechs. Yeah, but, uh, you know. Uh, and now has to retreat it back. Oh, man. Now almost getting killed in the air. Oh, and Broadside and Skinny Hill might have been able to get that uh, that focus fire. And Broadside getting back to that outpost in time before he gets killed. And MC Combat... Oh, did he drop bombs or something like that? I'm not really sure. Uh, he doesn't actually have bombs in his loadout so I don't think that that was actually plausible I mean I only feel continuing doing that uh, attack uh, green team doing such a great job splitting the attention of that of that orange team uh, only feel getting hit by that uh, by wolf cub but not able to actually get that concentrated fire and so only feel was able to get back to that mid and Skinny Hill doing quick scout, trying to finish off MC Combat, but MC Combat hidden by, his, not hidden, but protected by his units there, and actually overhealing all these Goliaths. I guess when you have no, and when you have time to do stuff, you might as well overheal if you're an Osprey, right? Um, the overheal mechanic introduced uh, a few months ago, but I really don't haven't seen it 
effectively, really effectively, effectively used. I guess against the socket units are really, really good, especially the, because that whole uh, bomber, uh, or not bomber, uh, bomb drop uh, thing that Neos do, and uh, a lot of mechs do it as well. Only Phil getting concentrated by Wolf Cup here. Oh, does Wolf Cup have air to ground? No, he does decide to land, not able to actually finish off Only Phil before he gets back to that outpost and actually gets finished by Makot in that, in, in, in trying to retreat there. And now, and now uh, Skinny Hill with Cloaked, uh, cloak double dillo drop probably will be able to find a hole oh that front door is kind of open actually but he decides instead to put it on the ledge very very good decision will go straight for that 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 fort not blockable really uh now makat trying to block with the seeker but there's a lot of damage that will be going down on that on that fort by that by those two dillos um, and there's not really anything else happening going on on the map, so I'm going to see Makat finally finishing him off. But look at all the life that those Dillos were able to actually take. Uh, it's uh, there. It's about a fifth, actually, at the cost of two Dillos. Very, very, very good uh, cost of effectiveness in, in those purposes of those two Dillos. And it's Skinny Hill doing the same thing again, uh, trying to sneak by with a cloak. Uh, now decides to finally cloak over here. Very, very good decision to uh, to delay that cloak so you won't run out of energy. And they will be able to actually drop it on the front door, going for that EMP. So they will it will uh, have the fire rate of those Dillos for a moment in time and uh, Makot is finally here but those Dillos have done their job uh, they put down a lot more damage on that or on that green fort um and Skinny Hill with these really, really great Neo Cloak drops. Uh, I, I mean, I would like to see Only Phil do the same thing, but instead, I think he's been mostly using his Cloak ability to drop Jackals at this specific outpost right here, this right outpost. And oh my god, look at all those Goliaths. There's just massive, massive amounts of tanks and units from each team, but you know, be just because of the humongous defender's advantage in this game, it's just really, really hesitant to do either. But now we have a split of units, a couple of Dills going for that right outpost, and a lot of uh, Goliaths and Seekers going for the fort. Um, I'm not really sure how effective this is going to be, but there is pretty much nothing defending here for the orange team. A couple of tanks actually, they did reposition, so it did look like there was only stuff on that left side. But uh, only Phil getting a good surround of the of, of Dillos over here. Uh, that he probably, oh no, getting finished off before he's actually able to get this neutralized. Oh, that Dillo might actually be able to do it. No, that drought side does drop a, a Longhorn, but now this Goliath push is coming at the front door. Skinny Hill, oh, gets hit by all those. That, that, it, that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you need to push with Seekers. You need to push with anti air. Seekers is very, very effective. Um, a lot of people have been trying to push with Flackers. Not really as effective, in my opinion. Wolf Cup will be able to get this Goliath finished off on the ground. Broadside did not finish body blocking, but uh, now they have a fair surround. Makat going with uh, a Goliath on the side here. Skinny Hill and Broadside force the body block themselves, finishing off Makat on the ground, but only Phil bringing another... Uh, oh no, what was that? I don't know what if they brought in anything else. But MC Combat getting good surround as well. Uh, not able to drop anything on the ledge, uh, just surrounding this fort on the, on the low ground. And only Phil and, and MC Combat are still here. Only Phil not getting uh, contested too much by the Orange team. It's really, really hard to block, especially against these speedy, effective mech drops. Um, you know, mech micros, I guess. Uh, these two, that one Goliath on that left side was, was firing in for a really long time. And now Orange has very, very low life. It's less than half. It's about at a third, I would say. Only Phil firing in himself. And uh, this is very, very close. Uh, a green team can probably just continue dropping and finish off the the rest, the you know, the rest of uh, Orange's life. But caught with a Goliath, will he be able to drop it in time? Yes, does get that drop. Three Dillos going down by MC Combat 2. I would expect MC Combat to try to reposition that Goliath, and he is doing it. Not putting it on the ledge, however, putting some Dillos on the front door. And in the meantime, Skinny Hill going with some the, some uh, Dillos at the at the fort here, uh, but but only feel quick to respond. Does it put that EMP down and drops a Goliath and oh, a couple Jackals for defense. Uh, the green units have been shut down finally here, but M MC Combat with more Dillos just non-stop drops, keeping the pressure on this orange fort. A lot of a lot of life going down, um, and Broadside doing a really good job defending. But oh my God, look at this! Okay, this is a huge push here. Uh, Stasis mines down by the green team, so this might actually work. Uh, but there is not much defending here at the front door. Just Dillos, no Goliaths. They really really produce Goliaths, especially against the Goliath army. MC Combat has not really been able to finish off this green fort with the with the drops that he's able that he was doing uh, just con constantly consistently um, now has Makot is has a longhorn but uh, does get caught by wolf cub there so we won't be able to actually get that completely uh, or not he won't be able to get that to the fort but now skinny with a uh, with a stasis hitting all those dillos on the front door uh, so now this goliath push uh, i would expect broadside or skinny to come over here and reposition broadside repositioning one goliath gets finished off but now skinny repositioning another goliath though these goliaths are just hammering the sides of the fort killing all the front door defense wolf cup firing in support as well i don't know if green team's gonna be able to hold this off makat actually hitting this tank from the back oh my god a lot of fire going back and forth and wolf cup shooting in finishing off all the 
killing all the Delos in the front as well. MC Combat finally killing Wolfka, but a lot of damage has gone down on green team. That Lunchbox Shield has been able to regenerate itself, and nothing. now in the meantime, uh, there was a couple of level 4 creep drops over here. This, this, this orange push has been shut down, but in the meantime, they have been able to grab mid. So once they sit over time two, the bleed out will definitely favor the orange team. However, the green team has taken out so much life at this point that I don't think that the orange team is going to win a bleed out if they just keep these outposts that they have currently. Uh, they have been able to thwart all the attack from the green team right now. But at this point, green team is definitely at a map, a huge map disadvantage. They don't have many anymore. All they have is, is this bottom island in terms of like map power. Uh, they only have their closes left, uh, and now with this, with the, with uh, just a complete shift in in uh, in map control, broadside with three longhorn, but gets caught by MC Combat, forced to drop a little bit early. Will try to get back to his outpost, and uh, will be able to do that. I would expect him to come back here, try to reposition the, those Dillos or those Longhorn, and in the meantime, a couple of attack, a little bit of attack going down. Only Phil getting finished off there. Uh, but let's see if Rodside was able to reposition those those Longhorn. Actually, did uh, uh, put one on the back, but MC Combat, I think MC Combat, was able to get that blocked by that one Dillo. And so now, um, Wolf Cup, <laughs> okay, again, poke, poke, poke. Getting that Seeker actually killed, so that's pretty good. MC Combat saving this uh, this Longhorn before Wolf Cub's able to take it out. And Makot here with that team support. Oh, almost getting Wolf Cub in the air. Uh, but whoa, what did Skinny decide to drop? Decided to drop another Longhorn at the top ledge. Uh, a lot of people want that ledge to go away. But at, in the meantime, th that it is there. You need to take advantage of it, especially in matchmaking. Uh, Wolf Cub, uh, or that, that no one has been able to deal with this Longhorn yet. So it's just getting free fire on this outpost, or on this fort. Um, was able to take green now all the way down to half um, and Wolf Cub just trying to poke in I guess maybe with air to ground or something like that Oh, and only filled with two Dillos has been able to penetrate this wall with his mech with the mech himself landing behind those Those, those Dillos uh, shooting in a little bit. So orange team. It's just a matter of drops right now If you're gonna drop anywhere drop on the front door for double damage Makot with a Longhorn Is he gonna try to go for the front door? Is he gonna go for the ledge does try to drop at the ledge does actually get it on the on the ledge and now? Uh, oh man skinny trying to get in the way trying to body block and uh, they have been able to finish off that that Longhorn, oh man, that Lunchbox proving to be extremely valuable. And another large Goliath push coming for Orange Team Broadside, repositioning some Longhorn here. Finds a hole on the side, finds a, oh, dr decides to grab a Seeker, or actually, I probably accidentally grabbed a Seeker, uh, to put a Longhorn. Oh, a, a Goliath has actually been able to find a hole on the corner. MC Combat now repositioning that Longhorn for blocking. And still a lot of, uh, of uh, Goliaths here, pushing at the front door. It, it is going to be stopped completely by this green team. And now Skinny dropping with that, that stasis. Just any time you can stasis, you really need to because it halves the fire rate. Uh, yes, one half fire rate. Yes, I, yes, just believe it or not. Ha one half fire rate uh, of those units that are affected for the affected amount of time. So it's like you have half the amount of units firing in. Uh, whatever is affected in Skinny with another Longhorn at the back. Putting down, there's chipping away at this green green team's fort. Um, and two... two Two Longhorn down by Broadside, all by himself over here, getting finished off by all three of those green mechs. Uh, that is just too much to, to ask for by yourself. Uh, and right now, they don't have too much here at the mid to defend. Uh, so that is, I guess, why Makot is going for this uh, level 4 creep drop. Uh, now Skinny uh, is chasing him away, not able to actually get that. But, oh, again, MC Combat with two Dillos. Is he going to be able to drop it on the ledge? No, it's com the ledges are completely, uh, completely st stacked with those, those orange tanks. And these Dillos are not going to be able to penetrate this wall. Uh, long uh, Ratchet here to heal. And uh, very, very tanky itself. D and Unsi Combat actually successfully gets off that um, that self-destruct. Uh, I guess that was... I, I would say that was probably a good decision. There was no real, real way for him out of that with two mechs there. And a huge, huge amount of orange... Uh, or orange defending units but now orange team has been able to neutralize claim and surround this outpost with some units i don't think green team is going to be able to drop enough in time and also in the meantime there are a couple of rebels dropped here by wolf cub i think wolf cub wolf cub does have the rebels no who has the rebels broadside has the rebels in his long in his so i guess that was broadside or wolf cub took broadside's uh built pre-built uh uh rebels 
And Wolf Cup finishing only fill in the air right there. Um, Makot trying to take whatever he can uh, with those long, with those level 4 creeps, but a lot of infantry going down by the orange team. They have been able to retake this outpost. They really need to get a better surround, I would say, especially this close to the green fort. We are 30 seconds away, 25 seconds away from overtime 2. MC Combat healing up Makot, but really needs to re retreat himself. Oh, does get away from Wolf Cup's fire there. Uh, but now Skinil has been able to neutralize this bottom this bottom corner this bottom corner island, and so Green Team is uh, a little bit in dire straits here. They need to continue doing drops if they want to have any chance at winning this. Either that or just hold out. Uh, and they need, they need to hold on to their outposts because the, the, the small amount of bleed that they need is not going to happen if they only have like a minimal amount of outposts in their control. Only Phil trying to penetrate this wall, but I don't think he's actually been able to make it. Skinil able to get that stasis and finish him off on the ground. Oh man, client, where are you going, client? Um, but right now, the, yeah, the, the, the bleed out is definitely affecting orange team or green team much more than orange team. But if they can hold out and maybe neutralize a couple of outposts uh, and, and keep them away from orange, orange's control, look how low that orange's life is. They really need to do some jackal drops or MC Combat just going with runners here. They really need to do some jackal or zipper drops. Get this outpost neutralized. Get this outpost neutralized. And they are very, very undefended. This is too defended for our orange team to take, so I wouldn't really worry about that right now. But MC Combat not only going with runners, once again, needs to drop some jackals or rebels or something. And uh, Skinil trying to queue up some defensive probes actually does drop the in time so MC Combat will not be able to get this successfully neutralized uh, almost oh got killed actually on the way back to his outpost and only still trying to get this penetrated but once again with such a really good wall with healing units in support uh, not really going to be able to get through and now Wolf Cub and Skinil doing some drops Skinil with a Longhorn uh, drops them on the top ledge will be able to p go through and not be blocked and in the meantime Wolf Cub firing at himself this will be the end of the game Green team ha will go down in defeat anytime now. <laughs> okay, there you go. And uh, b Broadside, Skinniel, and Wolf Cub have been able to take this ranked 3v3 match on Thar, on the bad side of Thar with that cluster of Seekers and, and, uh, and Goliaths there. Taking a look at the final counts, um, only Phil dying a bunch of times, but to be honest, all those deaths that he had, or at least most of them that I observed, were very, very successful in neutralizing the outpost that he tried to neutralize. Um, Makot going positive 3, MC going negative 9, um, Wolf Cup going even, Skinny going positive 2, and Broadside going even as well. Uh, very, very even scores, very, very even match overall. Wolf Cup with 125 units produced there, and uh, not too many unit kills by each of these mechs, but... Uh, that that uh, that that early fort drop uh, and, and push by the by the green team. I thought I thought that was definitely going to be enough to actually make this uh, take this match because at that point all they really needed to do was drop 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 drop, and uh, they weren't able to actually penetrate the wall of Dillos that the orange team was able to put up. Hey guys, if you have any replays that you want to share with the world, send them to me, ruy0x at gmail.com or message me at rui on Steam. You can also send a Carbon Forum or YouTube message to me as well. So check out my links in my video description, follow my Twitter, and this is RUI and that's game. See you next time.